Hello, welcome to my desktop. I just upgraded from uh, Xenio Zerus, which was uh, Ubuntu 16.04, to 17.10, which is Artful Artvark. And uh, I've had a few glitches. For example, I had a login loop where I couldn't get in, so I had to go to the terminal and basically run some commands to get back control of the keyboard, because uh, I couldn't even type anything. Once I could type in my login, I had the loop, and I couldn't get into any of the desktops uh, because I was using Ubuntu Studio, and it was using the X, uh, FCE or XCFE uh, uh, desktop. In any case, finally GNOME 3 worked. So I'm now in GNOME, and I actually like it. Uh, I've customized it a bit. I just want to show you what I've done here. So the first and foremost, I liked the fact that I had a menu in my old desktop. So I've added something here. That's a menu. First I'll show you the features and then I'll show you how I added them. This is a menu and it has a, you can customize it. There's quite a lot of issue uh, preferences you can fix like I changed the icon size, I made it a little more compact and so on, but it's nice. The other thing I've done is um, I've added a couple of desktop uh, applets by from Conkey. Uh, there's one here showing CPU and RAM. There's a, you know you can put other things in here, um, and I added a clock over here on the right side of the screen, and then I use something called dash to desktop or menu. This this piece down here, the menu bar, used to be up on the side in the default GNOME 3, uh, but I added it here. Uh, and then the other thing is. Uh, a screen recorder which I'm actually testing for the first time now you can see the little icon up here uh, something to make the the bar transparent so you can see the background instead of a bar across there and one more thing is this applet for weather which uh, gives you the current weather uh, in your region which also had some bugs by the way you almost um, the OK button doesn't work but I'll explain that later all right, so let's start off. First thing you do is um, now using the Windows button or Super button, I installed something called Tweak. Tweaks for GNOME. That's found in the Apple in the uh, store, and this allows you to uh, add a bunch of extensions. Okay, um, so the extensions, and if you go to the software store here, let me get rid of this thing. I'll just load up the software store and you'll see uh, you just search for tweaks and gnome tweaks is right here okay so that's what you want to use okay once you install it you can actually go to extensions and that is found whoops let me blow, blow that up again in your software it is found under add-ons right over here and you pit you pick shell extensions and there's a whole bunch of stuff here you can find now not all of them are available um, in here I think a couple of them I had to install separately uh, Conkey may have been one of them but most of them are found in here and you can google the other ones okay so we'll go back to um, to tweaks because the tweaks does it indicates which extensions I'm running so I can go over each of them okay oops let's make this a little bit larger okay so first and foremost under extensions we have dash to dock and what that does that's the first one here what that does is add this menu down here this menu here basically used to be on the side you can change where it goes and I made the icon small and it's just a quick sort of pop up it shows me favorites and also some uh, you know some frequently used here if you want to add to the and it also shows which apps are currently running like the tweaks one which you can see here now you can make it so that it shrinks or hides when you bring the screen down you see it pops out of the way or you can let it stay up you can make a bar create across so it's got lots of features um, if you want to add stuff to this menu let's say I want to um, add let's let's bring up our icons. I'm going to minimize this for a second. Okay. Let's say I have my favorites here and I want to add, um, I don't know, audacity to the menu. So I'll right click 
and I'll choose add to favorites okay and then it'll pop down here um, okay let's look at the next tweak which is dynamic panel transparency so what that does is it takes away the transparency of the top menu here okay um, and I like that because you, it, you know it looks a little bit more uh, nice to have that uh, see-through with this sp specific background easy screencast is actually what we're using right now um, there it is and it's allowing me to record the um, you know what we're I'm doing right now and it, it the nice thing about easy screencast is it also gives you the option to not only record the mic you can record sound that's going on on the computer directly from the card from the drivers it can also record a webcam feed so you can uh, and you can tell it where to put your little webcam uh, image so you know in the corner or the side uh, so on so you can do a, a presentation and have your face showing up there too the GNO menu is what I used for this thing. I've tried other menus and I didn't like all of them. I, I really, uh, I think the GNO menu has all the features I need. Um, it's It organizes the apps into um, different uh, groups according to what they are. Uh, you can search for things. You've got all your power up and down uh, options here, you know, locking the screen. So I, I like this. And, and you also have quick shortcuts to various folders. So um, anyway, that's what I'm using, basically, no menu. And the weather is an extension which I also downloaded here. And um, this one, I believe, if I click on it, I'm not sure if it's from the software store or if I had to download it. Yeah, it's here. It's just called weather. It's from the GNOME shell extension in the software store. The problem with this is there are some issues adding the actual city uh, you know initially when you type in the name let's say New York you type it like that and you get enter you notice the OK button is not working it's grayed out so to fix that I noticed that you have to go New York right you actually don't type New York you type uh, or you, you type New York and then you you look for it and click it in here you, you don't just type it so here New York Okay, and you click this. Uh, okay, that doesn't work either. I don't know what I did last time, but I definitely didn't hear Tokyo, Japan, or you type in Japan, and then you pick, let's say, Fuji. Oh, now the OK button works. See, it's bizarre. Let's say we type in United States, and then you pick something from the list. Okay, so you scroll down the list, um, I'm not sure where they put New York, but it, would, it would, should be here somewhere. I see Alaska. Well, anyway, there's a million things. Just scroll all the way down. Remember, I tried to add New York before. So now, if we choose New York directly from the list, uh, almost there, almost there. Okay, here. See, now the OK button works. So I don't know. I don't get it. But you can't just type in the thing. It's um, so if you have trouble with it, that's what's happening. Anyway, so those are the basically the menu, which is up here. Okay, the transparent um, panel at the top, easy screencast. So I'm recording right. What we're doing right now. No menu uh, is here. Right dash to dock is this little bit down here, and the weather. Okay, now to get these things on the desktop you have to use something called Conkey. Um, so I'm gonna bring that up, Conkey. So there's Conkey Manager and there's Conkey itself. I believe Conkey, uh, I had to download a distribution uh, for 1710. I couldn't download it from the store. I had to download the um, an installation file package and then install it. But again, look online, there's instructions on how to install Conkey and um, basically you can also download these themes or widgets um, their packages or theme packs I should say you c there's a couple of links also in Google where you can download theme packs for Conkey and then they import it and then you get all of these things here okay so right now I have two things enabled I have sim something called the simple RC which is basically this clock that you see on the desktop 
and you can customize it because you can go into the actual settings files and pick um, certain things, uh, format and so on. I left it the way it is pretty much, but you can change sizing and so on. So that's it here. Uh, oh, what I did was uh, initially it comes with a border around the window and in the setting file itself, if you edit it, uh, there's a, a parameter that says something about the type of display um, being normal or you choose desktop and it gets rid of the frame or the window around it. Okay, so that's that and then and that's found in this, you know, like here, I'll, I'll just go into terminal here so you can see what I mean. You go to uh, Conkey Simplice Conkey Simple RC. Oops, is that it? Or did I write it right? Okay, here, list. Okay, there. Cat Simple RC. Okay, so right here we see where it says uh, own window type right there. That one, if it doesn't say desktop, it might say normal. Uh, you'll get a window around this thing. So that's what you change and basically it changes it. And by the way, you, this is where you can change the font and a bunch of other things about the sizing if you really want to tweak it. But all I really wanted was just to make sure it doesn't have a frame around it. So I put desktop here. Okay. And the next thing I added was this CPU RAM thing, which you go down to and that's this thing. Okay. Uh, again, you can modify this if you go back to TG Tech and you list that would be the process panel. So you cat process panel. Oops, um, I have to. There's no space there. Got to do this. Okay. So once more, you go up. Now in this this particular one doesn't have the issue. It says own window type normal, and it's fine. So it depends on which panel, uh, which uh, thing you're using. But this certain widgets you need to change this, and other widgets I guess you don't. I don't know. Very odd. Anyway, let me exit out of there. Basically, that's it. Now if you go through this list, you will notice that there are a lot of options. You know, you've got all sorts of really cool designs here. You can go through showing your CPU. Um, each of them you can modify. You can add it and modify the position, right? Let's say you want to add, let's uh, you know, some kind of a weather. You know, the, I I didn't find the weather ones reliable for some reason. I couldn't get them to work on 1710. I don't know why. They they didn't configure properly. But let's say I want this in there. You know, I would uh, go into settings here. You can change the alignment and position how big you want it. I like to use transparent so I can see right through and there's some options for time and network but you know if you're using a, um, a widget that require that monitors the network. So anyway that's it. So Conkey Manager is just a graphical way of, of managing your Conkey widgets uh, but to install Conkey you will have to um, you'll actually have to install Conkey See, this is the Conkey Manager was a Deb installation, 64-bit um, AMD installation that I had to download. Um, it w it didn't it wasn't in the software store, as far as I know. Um, and actual Conkey, I believe, is in is a package. Um, sudo apt install Conkey. See if it's there. Oops. Yeah, so it is in the repository. You don't have to, you may not need to install it. Although, I think I did have to add a, repos a PPA for uh, the TG thing. Anyway, it's all on YouTube. Um, have a look at some Google things. But so, in case you didn't know, Conkey does these desktop uh, widgets, and then the rest of them are extensions. And so far, I really like. Um, basically this uh, you know the new GNOME interface because I wasn't used to using it I'm sure other people you know say it's nothing new because they've been used to using this before um, but you know since I was an Ubuntu Studio fan I've always been used to the more minimal interface um, I didn't have all these widgets that are available in Chrome but I'm glad that that the new version 
of Ubuntu um, decided to go with this interface. Uh, all right, so basically that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm just, again, trying out the screen casting and grabbing feature. By the way, one other thing is you can change, see that little camera there? Um, I change it not to indicate the time because otherwise you show the recording here and it's, it's this ugly red timer that tells you how long you've been going. Um, for the purposes of the YouTube video, I didn't want that cluttering up or distracting from the screen. So uh, I made it so that I would hide it, no indication. The only problem is I don't know whether I'm still recording or not. So I could have been just talking now for the last few minutes and not captured anything. Um, I, the Super E key is the uh, on and off toggle for this thing. So I'm going to hit Super E now and hopefully it captured what I was just doing. Um, but that's another thing that's, that's um, you can use if you, if you just want to make more, vi more videos of demonstrating things and you don't want that distracting you, um, you can, or, or making it look like you're recording something other than this very unobtrusive little camera. Uh, you can use the Super E key or some other um, activation key for the uh, for the screen capturing uh, extension and uh, get rid of that display from showing. So thanks again. Hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and uh, see you next time. Bye bye.